Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're not. In today's video, I am going to be going over the trending aesthetic of Coastal Grandmother. I really enjoy doing these types of videos. It's kind of like trend reporting and I think it's super fun. So I did one on the clean girl aesthetic previously. I will link it for you guys if you're interested in watching that as well. And I think just from like a research and observing perspective it's really fun to look at these trending aesthetics and just discuss them kind of just explore it so in today's video we'll be going over everything that I know to be fitting into this coastal grandmother aesthetics if you haven't already subscribed please be sure to do so it means so much to me and let's get to it also tried to channel my inner coastal grandmother today so I have on like a little white summer dress and this striped mini sweater but yeah let's let's get to it the coastal grandmother aesthetic is a term coined by lex nicoletta over on tiktok what is coastal grandmother you ask it's a term that i coined for this aesthetic if you love nancy meyer's movie coastal vibes recipes and cooking Ina garden cozy interior and kind of just like caught all its speed i've seen it everywhere with like celebrities i think it was on the tonight show i saw there was a skit about it a lot of people have just been embracing it and leaning into it which I think is super fun and really cool. Obviously, with all trends and all things in general, I think it is to be interpreted and expressed by the individual. So there's no like right or wrong way in my mind to do certain things. So like always, this is just my interpretation and I had a lot of fun exploring this. So let's dive in by kind of explaining what this trend is and this aesthetic really embodies. A lot of it is just going to be kind of intrinsic from the name. So obviously when I think coastal, I think of like light, breezy, casual, laid back, anything that kind of suits the ocean lifestyle. So linens, sweaters, barefoot, just that kind of like easy, breezy lifestyle, I guess. And then I think when we're putting in the word grandmother, it kind of means like a little bit like chic and polished, more sophisticated, more mature than playful, I guess. But again, like everything can kind of be interpreted different ways. I've also seen the trend or the term, I should say, coastal granddaughter. So I think maybe that's like a different way to interpret it. And maybe that would be a little bit more youthful. The more like mature, sophisticated style in coastal grandmother is a really nice element to it that I think brings everything together and makes it look very polished and I also think that this aesthetic is a little bit similar to the clean girl aesthetic in a couple of ways which kind of just proves some maybe like overarching trends that are very popular in fashion in general right now since they're kind of pulled over from both of those very popular aesthetics right now and that would be that they're both like more on the minimalistic side not super gaudy or over the top I would say that the coastal grandmother aesthetic in my opinion has some more like texture and layers than maybe the clean girl does and it's a little bit messier too it is not as much so like clean lines and simplicity but it is still more on like the understated minimalistic side of things also i feel like something that's kind of important to note that i found in my research is this aesthetic is not like gaudy or cheesy which i think maybe sometimes like grandmotherly things could be which i also have to say i love grandmothers like Grandmas are my favorite thing ever. I just love old people, and especially grandmas I just think are so special. I'm really close to my grandma, and that's always been like a really special thing to me. So there's no shade to grandmas ever in life, and especially in this video. But I do think sometimes maybe we associate like grandmotherly things with some gaudiness or che cheesiness, like festive things or just kind of like over the top. But this aesthetic is not. So it's more of that like sophisticated, chic kind of grandma style. I also think that this aesthetic is similar to cottagecore, but it's a little bit more modern. I think of cottagecore as more like almost historical feeling. And I also think that cottagecore is more like feminine than the coastal grandmother aesthetic. I don't find the coastal grandmother aesthetic to be super 
feminine actually i mean i think that there is some elements that are feminine like the flowy dresses and maybe some like ditzy floral print and everything but cottagecore i think a lot more of like pink and lace and a lot of florals and bows and just like super hyper feminism which this there's more like button-ups and trousers and the linen and just like the casual effortlessness of it feels a little bit more on the masculine side actually to me which i tend to prefer like more masculine styles anyway so i really like that element of it but that's not to say obviously that there isn't like skirts or dresses or any femininity to it i just think that when comparing it to cottagecore it feels a lot less feminine it also feels like a little less romantic than cottagecore to me so i think the way that i would describe cottagecore is very feminine and romantic and not modern and then with the coastal grandmother it's more of that just like laid back effortless casual breezy style so they're they're different but there is some like similarities that i see in them too and i think cottage is something that I associate with the coastal grandmother aesthetic, especially when it comes to the lifestyle element of it and the decor and everything. I definitely think of cottages, but not necessarily cottage core, if that makes sense. All right, so now I'm gonna break it up into a couple of different categories and kind of explain how this aesthetic fits into those categories. All right, so my kind of medium of a lot of things tends to land in clothing or fashion, so I wanted to talk about that first. As I mentioned, the fabrics in this are gonna be anything that's just like kind of coastal and effortless. So linen is huge. I think like satiny, silky things is great for this. Chunky knit sweaters is perfect for this. Button-ups, stripes, little floral ditzy patterns. Things that are really airy and breathable and breezy, giving that coastal feel. Things that are layered is really nice for this. It doesn't have to be as like clean and simple as the clean girl, like I was saying. It's a little bit more like chunky and layered. Also, from what I could find, most things in this aesthetic are trending towards like a really light neutral. So mostly like tans, creams, whites, I saw a lot of blues, maybe some like neutral sagey greens or something, browns, maybe a little bit of black, and then maybe some pastels in there as well, but it's definitely not like heavy on colors or bright tones or anything like that. For accessories and things, I think the little straw hats or any kind of like bucket hat, any sort of beachy or gardeny feeling hat is great tote bags anything that's like straw and has this coastal texture to it i think is really nice i think the totes are great because they're like really casual it's like you're going to a beach or a picnic um it's very lifestyle-y it's not super you know dressed up or like you're going and doing anything very urban it's more of just like natural elements and kind of like open breathable accessories that are also natural and just can fit like lifestyle things into them like a towel or a bottle of wine or a blanket or something like that if that makes sense for shoes i think mostly just like sandals and slides anything that's really effortless and easy to get on i think like the bostons or any kind of mule is also perfect for this obviously not like a heels or wedge type situation just like simple easy slip on effortless feel everything is also really comfortable really breathable really capsule like from what i can tell so everything can kind of be mixed and matched together and it all just goes seamlessly like i said layering like putting the sweater over the shoulders is perfect for this having the button up off the shoulder maybe like with the hats and maybe little like scarves or something going into fall would be perfect the sweaters, the cardigans, everything like that, just kind of layered, cozy, beachy. So all of these elements together, I think makes a very like chic and polished look, but it's still very effortless and laid back. And it definitely gives some European vacation holiday vibes as well. And then like with the clean girl aesthetic, I talked more about hair and makeup, but I feel like in the coastal grandmother aesthetic, that is not as prominent of a factor in the overall aesthetic. I do think claw clips or headbands or like a headscarf is great for tying in all those elements and kind of goes together a little like top knot or a French twist, anything that a grandma would do. And 
maybe like a little bow maybe that's too feminine but i think that that could work for makeup i think it's probably just really minimal and simplistic or you know do your makeup however you want and you'll still look great in the aesthetic but i i don't think that there's much of like a beauty aspect to this aesthetic not that i could really find anyways but if i had to interpret it it would be kind of those elements all right next we're going to talk about the lifestyle aspect of this trending aesthetic so i really like that this has a lot to do with decor and lifestyle and it just kind of like brings the whole thing together if you ask me so from what i could find this actually has a lot to do with decor so as i was mentioning earlier that kind of cottagey feel to everything maybe like beadboards a lot of white very coastal obviously little floral sheets and linen things wicker baskets cozy blankets so it's really cozy and cottagey but still light and breathable and airy and just aesthetic and enjoyable i also feel like this has a lot to do with kind of just romanticizing life and that is one of my favorite things in general i'm always trying to think of ways that i can romanticize my life and make it more enjoyable so i think that this aesthetic does a really good job of kind of highlighting those things so like taking walks on the beach reading it's kind of about like leisure and relaxation because it is by the beach and then having the grandmother a part of it I think kind of implies relaxation and resting and almost like a retirement like lifestyle but it still has some social elements too so like drinking wine hanging out with friends but all in like a very casual laid-back way not super go 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 or really like nightlife or anything like that it's cooking dinners with your loved ones or your friends playing a board game or a card game reading walking gardening is huge a big part of this which i love because i think that's so therapeutic and like romanticizes your life as i was saying so i think that these elements that i was able to find in my research were all super comforting and soothing and very satisfying to me <laughs> Last thing that I wanted to share is just kind of how this has popped up in the media and in society and obviously it is a trending thing so I just wanted to share some of those findings. So kind of like staple icons in this aesthetic I think is obviously Diane Keaton and the way that she dresses and um, a lot of the movies that she's been in is perfect for this aesthetic. Martha Stewart is an icon in this way. Obviously she's such a homemaker and so good at kind of like romanticizing life and making everything nice and very much so fits this aesthetic um oprah i think is great for this as well i found these amazing photos of oprah um she's so good at gardening and it just looked you know it just fit this so well too and is so satisfying and just looks so nice and i don't think that we all want to be doing that basically oh also ina garten if you guys watch the um food network going growing up or if you still watch it i used to love watching her because i found her to be so incredibly soothing like whenever i was homesick from school i would watch her and i just found it to be magical so she kind of embodies this as well and it's just this really like laid back soothing lifestyle where you're cooking and you're making things beautiful and you're enjoying it and you're romanticizing your life and then some other celebrities that's kind of popped up in my research i saw that anne hathaway was shouting out the coastal grandmother aesthetic in her instagram caption the other day which is amazing and then i didn't find as many other instances where people were actually shouting it out but just kind of embodying or wearing the trend maybe without even thinking about it i saw that there was a taylor swift post a selena gomez post and um carrie washington so i will link all the articles obviously that i found that i researched this so you guys can check those out too if you want to look into that but yeah those were some people that has kind of like popped up in recently in the media and whatnot and i thought that was really cool and fun to kind of 
see it in that way all right so that is it for today's video that's my thoughts on this aesthetic and it was super fun to break it down i hope you guys enjoyed this and if there's other topics that you want me to cover let me know um also i will be doing a coastal grandmother kind of styling haul soon so i put together a bunch of outfits just that i had in my wardrobe that kind of fit the bill so i will be sharing those on my channel don't forget to subscribe so you can catch that when it comes out. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.